What's up everybody, Everything Samsung News here with your daily tech news and on today's video, I'll show you my review of the brand new MacBook Air 2020. If you want to check out my playlist on all the Apple products, then click in the top right corner. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then please make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more daily top-notch tech videos. So let's get right into it. The first visible hardware change is the 13.3 inch display which uses Apple's auto adjusting true tone technology. On one hand, you won't miss this feature if you've never tried it. A retina display which is what Apple calls its displays is still lovely without it. But toggle and untoggle the true tone box in the display settings menu and you'll immediately notice the screen shift from a cold and bluish tone to something warmer, more natural and pleasing. The display itself has the same size as 2560 times 1600 resolution with the same thin bezels. The size and weight also remains the same at 2.8 pounds. For better and worse, the selection of ports hasn't changed either. Two USB-C shaped Thunderbolt 3 sockets and a headphone jack. It's worth noting that one of the selling points here is that Apple doubled the entry level storage from 128 GB SSD to 256 GB, all while dropping the base price from $1,099 to $999. It has a 10 Gen core processor, 8 GB of RAM, and Intel Iris Plus graphics. Battery life is rated for 11 hours of web browsing and up to 12 hours of iTunes movie playback. There are two configurations to choose from. The $999 model with 256 GB of storage and a dual core Core i3 processor and a $1299 model with 512 GB of space and a quad core Core i5 CPU. Both can be upgraded with 1TB or 2TB of storage, a quad core Core i7 chip and up to 16 GB of RAM. Apple announced a revamped MacBook Air with an improved scissor switch keyboard, branded as the Magic Keyboard like the Pro that ditches the controversial butterfly mechanism of the previous generation model. It has the same 1mm of keyboard travel and inverted T arrow keys as the 16 inch Pro. Well, that's been today's video. Please make sure to tell me in the comments about what you think about the new MacBook Air. And if you enjoyed this video then please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more daily top notch tech videos. And until tomorrow, goodbye.